Well, I must say I'm retired from NASA now, but I, I was here starting uh, to work with the people at Campus Party two years ago, and I'm following up on that now. I, I am helping to uh, bring some new technologies here to Brazil so that people can get some hands-on experience uh, working in robotics and then become uh, leaders in the field. It's an opportunity, I think, to transition from textbook to uh, the hands-on technology. And so uh, I hope to uh, bring these some robots like the ones I've had here to the people who uh, actually want to get their hands involved and learn and then take this leadership role. Well, I think that uh, we, have, uh, we have started out with a lot of learning, but now they have been with us for about a year, and I'm already seeing that they're making some advances in this uh, software development area. The software development area is an area where it doesn't need a lot of uh, uh, machine lab work, you know, you don't have to have a lot of facilities. You just have to have your computers and some people that are smart people working together thinking and uh, thinking uh, uh, that type of technology stuff. And so these people are good at that. I noticed that there's a, there's a uh, talent here in Brazil for uh, software development. And so I'm thinking that uh, without having to wait until you can build a big lab with a lot of equipment, they can jump right in and start developing software and get very good at it. So my expectation is that they are going to continue to get better and better, and in some areas they'll be able to take leadership roles. Well, I happen to be working with the people from uh, Recife, and uh, when I was in NASA, I invited people from all over the world to come work with me, and we only picked certain people, but uh, some of the best people came from uh, this area, and uh, I was able to work with them and gave them some tasks. They did very well, and so I, I was able to follow up on it. Even after I retired from NASA, I'm, I'm following up on the fact that uh, they had such an interest and a talent for the software development, and so uh, that's allowed me to uh, continue working with them now. Well, it's good that you're here because what you do, what you have to do first is get involved. You see, a lot of times this technology is moving so fast that you can be scared off and be afraid to try it. It's like, that's way beyond me, that's not for me. And yet, this type of thing is, um, is, a, is, a universal, uh, is going to have a universal impact on society in all kinds of areas. So what, if you can just get involved, you'll find a niche for yourself. That Maybe, maybe for example, you're not a high-tech person that digs way down inside here and learns all that technical stuff, but you may be someone who can explain that to the rest of the public and maybe someone who can help market what they do. And you wouldn't even know that if you didn't learn enough about what was happening, then uh, even though you don't have to do it, you have to be able to explain it. That is, there's a need for people that can do that. And so a lot of people who are good at public interfacing would actually be needed here, okay? And, and so what you should do is you should get involved and find out what's going on, and then you'll find out where you can fit. And this whole thing is gonna raise the uh, standard of living in, in general, because, because uh, Technology does that, you know, it changes the world very quickly. And you don't want to be left behind. You want to be in on it in some fashion. And I think, as I said, you don't have to think that I have to do exactly what they do because there's so many things that have to be done that you can find a niche that fits you directly. So, so a lot of, I'm speaking a lot of times to women who, uh, who see this and say, well, technology, I, I, I don't know, I don't like that. But the guys that are down there really into it sometimes cannot communicate very well to the public. What are you doing? I can't do it. So you get this girl who says, would you tell me, find out what he's doing, understand it? Okay, yeah, I understand it. Well, now explain it to me, will you? Okay, and then she's really good at that. Document it, write it up. We need an operator manual. We need ways to use this thing. Can you help us with that? And the, the people who don't do it can write about it, can can explain it to people, and they're, they're very necessary in marketing and such. So this whole field is waiting for you, you know? Just get out here and get involved. That's what I'm thinking. Get involved.